Hello all, this is D Swank. I am back in Space Engineers in my solo survival, and it's been a bit. Um, things happened uh, last time. I got shot. There's something off that way with rockets. I'm not entirely sure where, because I just ran. I lost my batteries, which sucks. Um, I took quite a bit of damage, uh, making me think I really need to rework. I mean, I took quite a bit of damage, but I also survived relatively well. Ish. Uh, I did lose wheels, though. Um, surprisingly well. Um, that wheel's severely damaged. Um, looks like my suspension's solid. I did lose a wheel back here, though, on the trailer as well. So, um, yeah, I should also add in, I am currently suffering from, um, uh, uh, insomnia, and I could not get sleep, and so, of course, what I'm going to be doing is a survival series where I'm probably going to die because I'm not, I'm sleep deprived right now. Because I'm a smart person. Okay, so, order of what I need done. I need to get that wheel fixed. I need that wheel fixed. I need this fixed. Unfortunately, it looks like I have lost almost every. I've lost everything for repair, uh, and I don't have access to that. So, what else do I have access to? Okay, I have this, which kind of helps. So, I think what I shall do is just crack as much of this stuff as I can. And go around, tap up a few things. Any construction components there. Alright, we need this because I need uh, fuel for my flyer. Flying this. That to get rid of... Okay, I'm not going to get rid of that. Hit this with what I can. Alright. I empty. Not enough of those. Um, construction components. Construction components. Motors. Two. Wait, that's an ammo, so I could just get rid of that. That is a valid option. Alright. Alright, so that means that's all in one of these. Alright, that one's severely hurt. That means those are all in the all in the ones that I can't get to. Okay. Uh, can't get to that. Can't get to that. Um. Oh yeah, I have a whole trailer of materials. Don't I? This helps immensely. Large steel tubes, construction components. Actually, let me take those with me. I don't know if I have the reactor up. 
Okay, I do have a react the reactor. Okay, but it is staying offline right now. I need to get motors. Motors. Oh god, ceramic tiles. I don't know what those take, but I need to get this up so maybe I can tear stuff down and make it. Okay, motors and computers. That's the big thing I need. battery bits, so I might be able to build, replace the batteries I lost. So, start with you. Assembler done. Right. Assembler 2 done. Oh, I never came to touch that up. Okay. Uh, cryogenic pump, I need two of, and 50 ceramic files. So, Let's see, Con steel plates, construction components, large steel tubes. Uh, okay, that's the assembler. I can get my, the titanium back out now. That's good. So, you welded, this welded, oh god, that was scary. Okay, we're still, I may have to grind that and move it to the trailer. Okay, motors and computers, I do need those again. Motors, computers. <laughs> there we go. Now I have access to a bunch of stuff. Okay. Uh, also, now I have hydrogen. Alright, uh, assembler. Um, production. So I need. Two cryogenic pumps. Let me figure out where those are. Alright, so I need to disassemble some titanium plates. And then I need to find these gravel, mm, silicon wafers, and sodium. A lot of gravel, which I can't do right now, because of what I need to find those. Yeah. Well, I might be able to build a the lower an emergency refinery. Refinery emergency. Okay, I think I can afford to put one of those now. So I need to go and grab some girders, steel plates, okay, girders, wild spool. Girders, arch There we go. 
don't need to put you down. Yeah. For now, steel plates, large steel tubes, constriction. Alright, there we go. Um, show. Yeah, I guess I can toss things in here. Um, there's that. So, I am going to do a bit of digging. What about here? This is all lies. Well, it's good to have ice, but still, I, I don't want ice. I want. Also, wow. This managed to get a hell shot. Eh. Thing. Um, we're going to move at this point. I still have three days of power, which is nice. Okay, that 12 traders 12 kilometers away. I'm going to see if I can do anything, get a view, and see what sort of trader they are. Because, depending on what that is, I might be able to... It might be of value for me to go ahead and salvage it. I now keep an eye on the horizon a lot better. I have no med bay, but that doesn't matter because, well, other than the fact that I can't really heal significant hits, but it's still. Um, oh, I did have an idea of what I was going to do to say, yes, I've done, I've completed this. Uh, there is an obelisk on the moon. There's an obelisk on Mars. I am going to say I have succeeded by building a base here on, uh, on Earth. Get it nice and secure and everything and then probably go I'm gonna go to the two space locations with the obelisks grab the obelisks and use them yeah that was a the small <laughs> office I not worth going after, which I may change my mind now that I need titanium. It really depends on what trader this is up here. But yeah, uh, go grab the uh, obbies and then come back. Come back to Earth. Okay, unknown signal, yay, you're not going to be useful. Okay. 
there's something odd here. I don't think that's my... Uh, I, I'm pretty sure that that's something big just loaded in. Yeah, well, it's got to be something big that's seven kilometers away. It's on the ground. That's got to be over, like, on the other side of that mountain, I think. That or it just hasn't rendered in because of how far away it is. But, what is this? Ooh. That's one of those flying things that has crashed. That's a, that's a flying... Yes, this... Oh. Atmospheric thrusters. Ooh, this is... This is quite scrumptious. Gatling turret. Yeah, this thing fell out of the sky. I am going to eat your parts. Yeah, oxygen tank. I don't really need oxygen. I wonder if this that ooh, 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 definitely shouldn't have ground or just gone straight in and ground out that down like I did. Uh, well, well, medical worm. That answers one of my questions, which was going to be: I wonder if there's a medical room. I'm going to be rebuilding this. This is a good opportunity to go ahead and rebuild the ship, so, or the craft. So I'm going to take this opportunity to do so. Also, there's probably enough platinum on this from the bits here. that I can probably block is not on. Okay. Can I see what's on the ship? Uh no refinery. That kinda sucks. But I got a med bay to put together. No fuel. And if this will just fall out of the sky, I, there might be more of these that I can come across. There we go. I'm happy you don't have ammo. I do want to find out what's in that junk. That crashed junk ship. That'll be worth it later. So will you. I think I need to pull the truck closer. Alright, this is future D Swank. And if you would like to just skip this fast forward, go ahead, go to 28, I 38 minutes, I'm sorry. Um, this is just me. I don't even talk much at this point. Um, I, I almost wrecked the truck. 
I take a look at craft. There's no way I'm going to shoot down. Um, I was not in the best mental state for this. Um, I'm trying to figure out what the best way of taking this thing apart would be. Um, what I'm doing is not the best. What I probably should have done is um, gone at it from just working my way down the top. And I think that would have been the best way to handle it. But I didn't. Uh, looking at it now, and with experience of uh, my, my not-recording world that I have done this in, uh, yeah. Um, but yes, uh, I'm, I've gotten to the point that I'm doing, uh, when I do any play in Space Engineers, it is one life to live anyway, so I'm that's kind of why I decided I'd give it a try on recording it. Now, unfortunately, um, yeah, when I said I was suffering from insomnia, I do on occasion get, uh, I won't say it's actually insomnia because uh, it's never been diagnosed, but it's something similar. I can't sleep for several, um, several days straight. And, uh, yeah, it's not healthy. So, I think this is when I get a good look at this uh, military craft flying over. There's no way my gun could reach it. Um, but, yeah, I... What I do for most of this episode, honestly, is tear this thing apart, and then I decide, you know what I really need? I'm gonna need to build a... Ship, a like a small transport ship, to just cut this, well, cut this thing into chunks, and carry it with me. Uh, carry the chunks over to a grinding pit. There we go. I'm already sort of. It's late in the day uh, when I'm doing this, so yeah, I'm not entirely good right now. I don't entirely know what I'm talking about. But anyway, um, I look at, well, of course, fixing the trailer and the truck, upgrading the trailer and the truck. I don't think I do much actual upgrading on the truck, but I'm not sure. Um, I know I almost get the, the trailer. No, the trailer work is all in the next one, I'm sorry or most of the trailer work is in the next one. But yeah, um, I get, like, the wheels fixed. I re I'm pretty much recovered by the end of this episode from our... our, well... the attack. The surprise attack that got me. Um, and, yeah, I'm going around and trying to get all the wheels back on. Because trying to run away without wheels is not good. And I mean, I'm kind of quiet through this. It's, oh, resources. Yay. What all can I say? I need a large steel tube to put together a wheel. Yay. I need to run around and just wel spot weld all these things that have gone wrong. Yay. Um, here I'm trying to decide, and I'm kind of muttering to myself, like, what guns do I use? What energy weapons do I use? Um, I've got elevators, I've got... I'm, I'm kind of just... Blah, that, that thing's enormous. But yeah. It after watching my content, it was actually quite sad what I I actually put to get said what I vocally put together for this was horrible. 
And I didn't want to put you all through that. So, that's why I'm here, I guess. Yeah, sure, let's go with that. But anyway, um, I'd normally just fast, normally just cut all this, and, but, I mean, this, the whole idea was one life to live, how do you know I didn't die if I cut? That was, that's the whole reason in case you're sitting here going, oh, why am I watching all this? It's... It's, it's kind of a pride or a proof or whatever you want to phrase it. Um, I kind of wish there, I mean, if Lucas, Meridius, whatever name he prefers, um, could do something like a life counter, I would love it. I mean, just, or, hell, I mean, the guy who did the, the... Uh, uh, compass. There we go. I speak words. But yes, if we had, if there was another way of doing this where I could cut it out and not feel like there's the potential that somebody could say, oh, but you cheated, um, I would. And I only... I feel like li building... Okay. Uh, there was a slight thing there that's going to be edited. Uh, some black. I uh, didn't get these lined up in post-production. Well, because I'm good. But yeah, uh, getting the trailer prepped... I'm um, actually, yeah, this is when I'm starting to talk about putting in a grinder pit. Um, now, I've, I do mention that I have seen, you know, I believe it's Splitzy and his grinder pit, and I was going to do something inspired but completely different than it. Uh, my grinders were going to be all pointed straight up, things like that. Um, and plenty of room for me to walk around them. But yeah, I'm getting... This is laying down the, the grinder plant. Very simple. And getting all the bits out. I think next time that I do One Life to Live, I'm probably going to go with the uh, um, easy inventories. Um, I think that's going to be good. I'd also, I mean, at this point, this is good time for me to uh, uh, bring up the idea of what my next playthrough of this is actually going to entail. Um, what mods, things like that, if anybody has suggestions. Um, if part of me wants to have the community put together a mod list for me to use. I mean, I have a world that I'm building um, that could be interesting for it. Um, using... A bunch of interesting stuff. Unfortunately, um, the world uses like shit, ten gig, ten gigs of memory while it's up and running. It's stupid, insane. But yeah, um, I I might go with that world and then um, uh, just because I. I love the concept of it. Um, put together a, a one life to live on that. Um, but yeah, if the anything in addition to the uh, environmental mods, because like, and when I say environmental, I'm using all the spawn mods and things. 
stuff like that. Uh, when I say mods, I'm thinking like tools, um, things that, well, will make, that give me the advantage. Everything that I've put out there makes it harder for me, with, except for the sci-fi ores, but I can only get to them by going to their planets, is the way I'd have that set up. So, um, yeah, uh, I'm kind of out of things I can talk about without just going full rambling mess, so uh, with that, I'll probably put some music in here. Uh, there's only like, what, eight minutes left of fast forward at four times speed. So, uh, I'll put some, a couple of different music pieces in the background as I run around through here. It's going to be just me throwing stuff in welding and grinding and things like that. But again, like I said, I want it here to prove that I didn't die and didn't cut out my death. So, um, yeah. I'll s probably see you as I wrap up next episode as future d uh, But I'll let past me join you in a few minutes. So, I'm gonna take this time to say bye on my part.
I don't know how long I've been recording, but I am actually starting to feel tired. So I am actually going to go ahead and make full use of this feeling and try and get some sleep. As difficult as that may end up being. Um, I will probably come back and refit this once I have everything set up. Uh, let's see. Over here I've got my kind of walkway started for the grinding pit. The grinding pit, the grinder part of the grinding pit is done. I need to figure out what all I'm doing on the side of this. But it's going to come up to at least this height. And then have angles down slope, so whatever I drop in there will kind of just grind down into it. And with the grinders in this position, anything that gets thrown out goes that way or that way. It shouldn't go that way. But. Another thing I've been looking at is possibly piping up this whole system, which means I'd have to disconnect the trailer, which means I need to put pistons on trailer to lift it, hold this end up while I readjust here. So that's going to be fun. So, um, yeah. This is where I'm going to end it. I hope you've uh, enjoyed whatever is here. I may continue with another recording session. Just blastered on to the end of this. I don't know. Uh, most of this I was quiet, so this may just be, hey, um, special video. I was tired, so I just kept building when I get to this point. So, yeah. Yay. Nothing really much happened. It was just working on the trailer and finding that. On my way to figure out what that trader is and what that junk is. I can probably go ahead, take control of that, and see what I can see. New defense turret control. From here, I can't really tell. It's too dark. So, um, actually, uh, okay, uh, control. I kind of want to look there. So, we're going to get the rover finished off. I'm going to put a couple defense turrets, probably one big turret here in the back, and then probably a couple of side turrets, like try and do a sponson looking thing off to the side here with uh, some... Uh, I'll probably use the uh, these or this. That might be cool. That is freaking huge, though. Still, if I was going to put it on the side, that wouldn't be bad. Too bad. I could put these wings out on either side and mount these on there. But those are pretty big. But I'll figure out something to put in there. I may just go ahead and put... Uh, I'll 
Yeah, the auto cannon, close in weapons, or the quad plasma in there. Since I I can get silicon out of the ground. I can get silicon out of dirt and rock, so yeah. That's probably what I shall do. So until next time. Bye bye. <laughs>